Am I invited? I mean, I'm not like a member officially. You got pizza and though. Oh, I do? No, I don't have 10 bucks, so I guess I'm staying home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I'm, I got my ticket already. You got it? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll throw the 10 bucks your way, man. That's cool. I, was, I was supposed to go with uh, Sudi. I think they probably have a couple extra tickets. I was supposed to go with Sudi to the thing. Apparently, Sudi can't make it. Oh, yeah. She has surgery. Okay. She has, uh, uh, she has some gloss on. probably scoop y'all. But uh, I, if I ever can't get back, find another way there. But uh, right I can definitely get your ride back. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll ride with you back home then. Okay, cool. But um, I might have to. We might. Yeah, have to, I might have to ride in the back of the Gulfstone. truck. I think it's against the law nowadays. And that's uh, a law against that. I mean, I don't care. But but the uh, yeah, she has a switch plate. She on has gallstone uh, removal. What? Oh, we're on, t- we're on TV. Are on? We? Yeah. 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 Welcome to the queue. Oh, wow. We're the most unprofessional show on AOC. And that's why we're not um, funded by the man. <laughs> and that's why, that's why MSNBC is not picking up, Fox News ain't picking up, CNN don't want to have nothing to do with us. Because they can't earn a profit from us? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah. I uh, know. Yeah, we but, also eat on TV. But it's, a, it's, a, it's more of a profit thing. They can't make money off of us. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Yeah. And plus, we're not, we're, not, we're not no tool for anybody. Yeah. Unless Barry want to be a tool for, for somebody. I don't know. How much you can pay me to be a tool? We'll discuss that later. Anyway, uh, this is a cue where we're talking about everything and anything. Yes, we're like Wait a, a blasphemous going straight to hell. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, so how's everybody doing today? How are you doing today, Barry? You want to close the door? Yeah. Um, let me, hey, you ever, you ever try to use like the force as a kid? Like you were just being lazy? I tried doing that. I tried. I tried doing that. Going to a grocery store, and then like we get the automatic door that opens and closes. I tried doing that by doing this like. Like, like my phone sitting over there on the on, on my coffee table when I'm laying there. That's how you know you. I'm laying on my couch. I'm tired. That's how you know you. That's how you know you're streaming a lot of lazy. And, 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 and I'll even I'll even do the like the theme song. I'll be like. That's that's extremely lazy right there. You suck on that far. All right, let's let's get on topic with different things we're going on today. I was uh, watching TV. Uh, Stop TV. it. Yes, I was. That evil devil box. No, I was watching TV. And this, and this guy opened a conversation up that was like very interesting to me. All uh, right. If we go look through our, our past histories, we see all the things that happened, all the wars and stuff ever happened. But it makes you wonder if the people in the future, look back in the, in the presence now of uh, their past, would, how, would, would, would they see? They would look down on us in a condescending <laughs> manner. <laughs> like, so like they, we do. Like, oh, look God. At look, at those, look at those apes. Look, they look, as look, though they were like in black and white. They, they, they or open something. up the book and say, oh, my God, they fought for all this stuff. And they like open like, up our, our time zone and say, like, huh. Yeah. Well, that's, so they uh, try to be uh, different from people now. Huh? That's what's called futurism. And people do that. They try and yeah. say, okay, how will we look? How will a historian look at this era? And I heard one recently say that, we will look at chemotherapy use uh, yeah. to combat cancer as similar to bleeding. You know, we used to wow. like put, put leeches on people to, to bleed their blood because their blood like was a, bad. Like, yeah. yeah. Because like in the medieval times, they, like if you would get sick, they would hang you upside down and drill holes in your Exactly, because they were idiots. And, it, and, and, it, and it, I mean, well, they were just primitive people. I mean, they were <laughs> extremely whole, primitive. Right, you, can't say they're, you can't say they're yeah. idiots because apparently... You drill a hole right, in and They're going to die if eventually. We have, if, we have, if they had the technology <laughs> back then, would they have now? They didn't know any better. You think, I mean, you think it would be different? Well, sure. It, of course, yeah. So we got to work with what we have. And it's the same humans. It's exactly. You work with what you have. You work with what you have. Yeah, and 95% of people don't care about you know what, science. What? They don't know what the word science means. They just use it. Of course. Uh, yeah. p- people call, uh, call it witchcraft. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's just that they think it's this... Uh, uh, they, they call it appeal to authority yeah. uh, when you're arguing. And uh, uh, ipsa dixit is the word. He himself has said it. It's what uh, Pythagoreans would say. Pythagoras himself has said it, so it must be true. That's why they killed some guy that said irrational numbers exist, which is like yeah. 1.0, you know, a non-repeating. Yeah. Yeah. They but, would kill you if you thought if you didn't think the earth was flat back in that day. Like if you thought the earth was round. Some well, now that's not true. <laughs> that's not <laughs> they true. They knew that the world was round. Actually, they actually actually before Christmas. So, so you're knew. saying they just lied about it? Uh, not, no, that, no, it's, that, that's one of those then. stupid historical. Where, yeah, Christopher Columbus thought the world was actually, flat. No, he didn't. As a he thought the world was not, smaller. He thought, he thought smaller, that India yeah, was yeah. closer. But he thought he didn't yeah. think the world was uh, actually round. Ra- yeah, because that's, because I don't know why. People debunked that years before. Oh, dude, yeah, they they literally they got to within like a few miles. Yeah, way back, like thousands. 
thousands of years ago, they knew exactly how big. And before the Earth Christopher was. Columbus came along yeah. to discover that thing. No, yeah. Plus or minus the Rosa Parks Center, they figured out how Christopher, big the Earth. Only reason why Christopher Columbus has traveled just to go uh, take over people. Exactly. Land. Yeah, he yeah. was supposed to, he was supposed to take over India. That's why he called them the Indians. Oh, you know? well, he was stupid. He was. Uh, he, he was lucky too. He was lucky yes. because there was a bubonic plague yeah. that had reached. Bubonic plague screwed up Europe yeah. in thirteen hundreds. Yeah. Well, it had reached the New World too, yeah. and decimated its population. So when Christopher Columbus arrived, the Aztec culture had been, had been, been falling. Been yeah, dude. Yeah. It, it had been dealt to death. So it was a lucky shot yeah, that he dropped out, dude. It was but actually the Vikings. Believe it or not, the Vikings were here for over five hundred years. Dude, they planned. found they just found stuff on the coast of California. 40,000 years old, dude. Yeah. Really? People have been traveling the seas oh, yeah. for a long time. See, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's stupid stuff they teach you in school. Oh, welcome, welcome there, Blondie. But, but that, that's, a, that's stupid hey, stuff they teach you in school. I'm going to get a coffee. All right, cool. Back at you. But that's, stuff, that's stupid stuff they teach you in school. Back out. Back out. <laughs> but that's stupid stuff they teach you in school where they think that's real. I mean, Christopher Columbus didn't uh, go travel because the earth was uh, 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 flat. People like they got what, people uh, nowadays that, that think the earth is flat. Was there any <laughs> other people that, that traveled and, and did the thing before him? And well, yeah. Yeah, it was eight other people that traveled. And, and, oh, well, and, no, way more. Because, I mean, China, yeah. 1421, China was on the coast. That's proven. But now they're finding stuff from thousands of years before that. Yeah. It's probably just like one in a, you know. Uh, uh, I think I think people just sailing around the world. I mean, I, mean, I think people like to glorify it, false like, heroes. I mean, like, like, like Alaska yes. and Russia are like well, right there next saying, to each other. Uh, so it's exactly. Easily uh, migrate. Uh, this is Canada. Was, uh, the one so, yeah. who's on the first world we'll be flat. The world's being round. They say they're Mongolian descent. Like someone else was. It was Lee Barrett from Mongolia. Oh, here. Oh, he's here. Okay. All right, one at a time, gentlemen. Eric the Red. But yeah, I was just saying that Chris Plumas was not the person to discover that. Right. The earth was round, was round. He, he was he was so stupid that he traveled to a, another place that he was in India and he named uh other, these he thought, thought he literally thought Indians. they were Indians he literally thought that the Native Americans were Indians. well he named them Indians because of because he thought he was in India yeah I mean but yet he was uh, going for spice. Uh, but it lets you know that people will glorify. It lets you know that even even the broken clock is right twice a day. But it's just you know that people will glorify anybody who people throw in front of them as a hero. I mean, look at uh, what Rosa Parks. She she uh, only reason why she is so popular because the people uh, thought they would listen to a, more of an adult figure instead of a child. I mean, the person who started the movement for. The people on the seats is actually it was a thirteen year old girl. Yeah, you know something funny. She just kind of picked up on it. Although all well, those years, yeah, she picked up on it afterwards because <laughs> they realized yeah. that no one will listen to a child. Right. You know what's funny? All uh, those years of fighting, fighting to sit in front of the bus. And you know what you do? You, me, and you both always go sit to the back of the bus. You know why? You want to know why I like sitting in the back of the bus? Because it's see? usually either the most, it's either the coolest. Or well, the warmest part of the bus, depending on the weather. But of course, but guess what? Back then, they didn't have AC in the in the bus. Yeah, they all had windows that you had the bus to put down yourself. Right. So that's what. Why? Why do you think? What? Plus, she was tired. I'm gonna sit wanna... in the most comfortable spot. But it let you know that, no, uh, everybody would glorify Rosa Parks for being the person who started it, and it was not her. It was a 13 year old girl who actually started that movement. And uh, pass it on. Only so it was like a 13 year old girl being like, whatever, whatever, I do what I want. I don't think it was like that back then. Oh, you don't uh, think it was like Harvey disres- disrespect, disrespect with children was not like yeah. that back then. No, they had some disrespect for children even back then, dude. Not they like always this. had disrespect right, compare, for children throughout compare, compare back human then, history. Compare back then to compare now. I mean, it's more, it's more prevalent now. I mean, back then, at least they respect their parents. Now these days, they talk back to their parents. They got some kids yeah. that didn't respect their parents even of back course. then. But we ain't talking about them. We talk. Well, you, you show me. You tell me. You can't name one person through history that did that, or anybody. I mean, uh, that, that you actually proved my that mom. She was, <laughs> that's, well, how was it? What, what year she was born? My grandmother. What year she was born? Was very disrespectful to. What her. year she was born? Nineteen sixty. I, I I think the nineteen hundred. That's when it started getting worse. So you can't, yeah, I mean, it's getting worse. You yeah, can't I'm compare just, that. I'm just saying that it's always existed. I mean, it was, it's always maybe, had disrespect. Maybe the 1700s kids. are the... Oh, Black Plague, man. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, the 1700s and 1600s, kids were not like this these days. You cannot say that. I mean, you got you to gotta judge them based off the individual, though, man. Of I course, mean, but we, we don't judge people based you, off you individual. Gotta, you got you to gotta, you gotta be like... 
Yeah, but if you judge just people because off, that kid's a spoiled brat, don't mean all the kids are spoiled brats. Of course, but we don't judge people. I mean, off. even today they got some respectful kids. Of course, but they do. The, the kids but it's are more disrespectful. But it's doing the thing now. It's getting more disrespectful. But we we're built on a world where we judge people equally, not individually. I mean, come on. No, uh, well, you got to hold everyone to the same standards. Of course. Brian? But, but not everyone lives under I see, the same. I see you're, see you're laying down over there. Oh, I'm good. But I'm not good. everyone falls under. you got something under... to say no, about fine. being a disrespectful kid, Brian? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you did not. <laughs> okay, no. No, okay. no. Let us see. see, we were hogging all the spotlight. Okay. We want Brian to say Go something. Ahead, Brian, say something. I don't got nothing to say, man. What Just say something, about? dude. Be like something. something and then... All right. How do you feel about kids now that disrespect their parents and they were by then? Oh, man. Well, let me tell you something. If I disrespected my parents, I'd get a firm backhand very quickly. Right to uh, this side. What? Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. No, you don't talk back to your your mom and dad. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you never talk back to your mom. My mom would bust my face open. Mm -hmm. Easy. Mm. She would. Okay. She'd straight up. My mom was a black belt in karate. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, yeah, I mean, just uh, these days people are now disrespectful more than they were back then. I mean, these those. Those yeah, it's, it's 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 entitlement and spoiled rotten kids, dude. I think it's entitled. But people have that thing too. We, we, I mean, we, we I mean, most kids are like, things. "Hey, how you doing?" But we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't base the world off individual anymore. We don't. We, I, 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 I see individual, man. I don't look at, yeah. I don't look at someone and be like, "Oh, you know, this guy is a, belongs to a certain tribe," and then so I'm gonna judge him based off what those. People dude, are like everyone. All right, everyone. That's built. racism. All right, everyone uh, is collectivism. Can, can can lead into racism. All right, a lot of times it does. Well, Cause, cause you, can't, say, uh, Brian? you can't look. You gotta look at the individual. I want to say very simply, uh, this generation is screwed. Uh, oh, of course it is. I know, I know. I know. My generation. You don't have to go back that far, oh, dude. Like nineties kids. But it, kids it's, are way tougher than kids oh nowadays. But it, it lets you know that this uh, right here. That's why we should do it in the front. For everyone, now. yeah. <laughs> putting people in groups are, is not bad at all. Everyone has no, a group. No, 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 no. You, should, on, you should judge people based off their 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 individual merits. I'm saying this. Everyone has a group for something, and everyone is built in a group. That's all I'm saying. So, so, so if one person in the group messes up, do you punish that person or do you punish the group? Uh. Well, you better answer that wisely. Like, I want to go and punish the whole group instead of not just a piece of it. Hello, hello, caller. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hi. Hey, dude. Doing good. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. We're talking about uh, apparently what? putting people in groups. But we're, we're talking about putting people in groups. So my point is this: if one person messes up, do you punish the whole group? Let's say I, I belong to a club. Let's say I uh, yeah, that's probably me. Yeah. I'm like Probably a like that. a banker, and let's say I mess up, they should punish everybody in the bank that works there, or do you think like like Kenneth saying like the group, yeah. or do you think they should punish the individual? You think we should judge people based off individuality? Like that person messed well, up. That that person the military, is like if one guy in the squad screws up, then everybody gets punished. I think that's wrong. But that's how the well, world is, Barry. Well, that that what that does is it inspires the guy who screwed up to not screw up again because. Yeah. You know, he doesn't want to let the group down. And then, and then, and then his, 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 his platoon is going to bully him. Yeah. Well, we're not talking about the military. We're talking about just normal society. Period. Normal society, too. too. I mean, no, right. no, 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 let's take, no, let's take, no. Let's take, no. Let's take a different thing. Not military. Let's take something else. Uh, working at a store. You and your other, other people are working at so the same. So if I run out of the store. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take the store thing. You and a group of other people work in the same thing. So guess what? If anything mess up in that group, yeah, it'll be say, your group fault, not yeah, the individual. Let's say, let's say I, uh, let's say I said take some well, Let's say I do I something messed up. I give you an example. Like we all worked when I worked at the gas station. You know, we had people come in testing us to see if <clears throat> we would card people underage for cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah. And if one cashier didn't do it, then the whole store suffered. That's right. And that's that's, that's, that's wrong. Because, dude, everything I, I, works I, I, like Even that. as a kid, I felt that was wrong because my teacher told me the good's got to suffer for the bad. I of think course. that's, <laughs> excuse my language, but I think that's bullshit. But, dude, that, that's but, how, but, but, but no, but listen, let's say I'm, I'm working at a store and I spilled a mop on the floor. You think the cashier should have to be punished because something I messed up? No. And that's why people don't take self accountability nowadays. Yeah, dude, and that's maybe, why people are always blaming this and blaming that. Right, dude, oh, I had a bad childhood. Oh, this happened. Oh, that happened. But dude, almost everything works as a group effort. Almost everything works as a group effort. 
I mean, look at it. Let's take a robbery. But just because somebody oh, messes up, let's take a, I mean, let's take a robbery. Let's say I'm the running back, right, and I'm on, the on. running back, and hold I fumbled on. the ball. The whole team screws and the, up, and the, and the team loses. It's your fault. It's, it's I'm going to be up there and be like, listen, it's my fault. I yeah, fumbled, but right? It, we lost as a team, yes, but I'm the one who fumbled. It's my yeah, fault. But, it, but the team man mindset is no, we lost as a team. Yeah. But ultimately. I'm the one who lost the game. For it's him. more. It's more teaching people. How I'm work. the one who screwed up. It's more teaching people how to work as a team and not divide it. I mean, but let's take robbery. Let's, let's say you work with somebody. If I robbed the bank with somebody with someone. But let's say let's say you just have a friend that has nothing to do with it, right? Let's say your friend's just. Let's say he's just driving the car, but and he still, doesn't even know. He doesn't involved. even know is is a robbery, but it's still right? Being involved. And then you rob the bank, and then you put your, the gun to the friend's head and be like, draw the court, you better get out of here. Well, that's you think, different. Do you think that friend should suffer for that? No, I well, don't think so. friend won't suffer for that. In court, the friend won't suffer for that. I don't I mean, think so. Yeah, he would. I mean, like a better example would be, like, say you're all driving and one of you has pot, and you get pulled over. You don't bury, you and Kenneth don't smoke it. Yeah. But the fact that you're in the car with Listen, the guy who's person. smoking it. That's yeah. messed up. But everything Th is that's, <laughs> that's messed up, though. I yeah. shouldn't have to suffer for somebody else's mistakes. But yeah, but none of us should have to suffer for an arbitrary... Uh, well, what is the... Pr the pr we were talking about uh, how... The, the idea that pot can't be used yeah, but, 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 is infantilizing. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you, but we were talking about how talking about someone messes up. That everybody else has to suffer for. Let's yeah. say, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's but say for example, you, like you, 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 you do something to AOC that and you mess up. You think it should punish Will for your mess up? Well, this is called the prisoner's dilemma, too, because yeah. you get two guys yeah. who are, are both perhaps partially culpable, perhaps not culpable, but uh, uh, the evidence will yeah. uh, uh, get them in trouble, and so they're both put in separate rooms. And oh. so the one says, well, should I tell or should I not tell? Yeah. If I tell, I'll get one year. If I don't tell and he tells, I'll get two years. It's a test. It, yeah. but, but the answer is always don't say anything. Yeah. Because the best, the best possible outcome is always don't talk. At yeah. all. I mean, the, yeah. That, that's not, why even if you're not guilty, I'm sorry, man, there's a lot of guilty people, that, uh, rather innocent people that have been killed of course. Yeah. But by I mean, our it's, justice. It's, it's yeah. A, it's, it's a, yeah, but everything now these days are working. Jacob, the, the point... That they're trying to make is like, you know, if you're in a group, if you're like in a, a squad of people, you know, you're a group of people and one guy like at a job and one guy screws up, should the whole crew pu be punished just because of your screw up? I don't think anybody should be punished. I think punishment is an outdated idea. But I do think that the person should be held responsible and the, the person who's responsible should be held responsible, not... Oh, well, your buddies knew. They well, how about this? Well, what, what, what are your buddies going right. to do? Well, what are you, what yeah, are you like doing? I was hey, 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 right. stop smoking pot. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. How about you would be surprised if they get plans. put under age and buy cigarettes, and if you didn't card them, then the store would have to pay a fine, and you'd get in trouble. Yeah, but that's, 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 that's the store's wow. fault. I mean, it, it, shows that, it shows your responsibility. If you're in charge of something, but let's say let's say let's say for example, you, you mess up and, and and you do something, you know, to get you fired over here at AOC. Do you think like Will should? I think when it, I think get, when it affects like, the business, because no, because he's he's arguing for the for for the goods and stuff and for the bad. But even as a kid in school, I thought that was a mess. Well, hold on, I yeah, think the person who's responsible it, should suffer the consequences. Yes, hold on, unless it exactly. affects the business, then the group should be uh, in trouble for no. it. Why? Yeah. Why, why, why? Tell me why. Explain why. All right, let's say, uh, like, let's, like, let's take uh, Reggie thing with the store thing where uh, he saw a, a man sold a, a cigarette to underage kids. It's not just him that messed up. He screws up this. He makes make a bad reputation for his store. And he holds his businesses uh, get in trouble for it. Everything has an effect to it. Uh, everything has. Yeah, because you have to pay a fine. The yeah. store has to pay a fine, and then I would get cut in pay or possibly fired. What was, was that? Uh, but that you're thing? saying the person that wasn't on the clock that day also gets in trouble? No, he wasn't there. But the store takes effect of the thing. So whoever was in the store that day, who saw the, the idea place, behind it is like if you are a manager, if you're in charge of people, and they screw up, it should be on your head because you're the guy who's supposed to keep the manager run up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so like that, I said, I've seen places go out of business because of bad management. But it shows this that everything now these days work as a group. Wherever you screw up. The whole group screws up. I mean, yeah, like, like for example, I used the analogy a while ago. Let's say I'm a football player. Let's say I'm a running back for, I don't know, the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going to use the Cincinnati Bengals. As, and let's say I'm, we're at the goal line, you know, and I, it's a tall sweep, and I get the ball, but I fumble. 
Yeah. I'm the one who fumbled the ball. Yeah. And the team lost. We just lost in the playoffs. But it was and, – and, and a lot of football players would be like, oh, it's my fault my team lost. But the rest of the team would be like, no, we lost as a team. Yeah, we lost yeah. as a team. But a even though thing. I'm the one who fumbled. But it's still a group thing. <laughs> it, they take the responsibility yeah. off of him to show that – don't, don't be, beat yourself over it. Barry, should it be your fault or should it be the coach's fault for not training you right? They had coaches that get fired for st- things like that, believe it or not. I mean, you wouldn't believe how cutthroat the NFL is. Well, they think of football as a what uh, a, a war. The leader leads the people into all, in a war, but when them, one person yeah. messes up, the whole thing affects the whole group. No, sometimes they got there. And it will show bad. They out, get beaten. Just, yeah, but we're talking, about, we're, talking about, we're talking about that when it, when it does show bad on the yeah, group. I've seen the I've leader. Seen, hold on. Yeah. The leader will take uh, uh, responsibility for that because he the one that taught them. So, like to say, like a coach, they will take responsibility. I mean, so, yes, they will fire the yeah, coach yeah. for a bad um, yeah. game. Les Miles gets a lot of heat, but when the LSU Tigers lose, he's like, listen, they lost because of me. He's like, he takes the blame. Always Which takes the blame. Should be. How did we get into sports? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm it's using so, it as an analogy. Right, it shows this. Sure, sure, sure. sure. I mean, let's take well, the kind of like, a that's, that example would be like in the old days, like if you were a captain on a ship and the ship was about to go down, everybody else on the crew could leave, but if you left, then they would like hang you for treason. Yeah, you the captain. You, you had to sink. The you ship. had to sink on the ship. Yeah, well, yeah. Once you, the ship sinks, you can survive. So it's in the water. Can I come <laughs> out? But, is that, but that's that's that's. I mean, is that is that nowadays too? I mean, let's say I'm on a, like on well, a boat. Well, people people get so invested. Captain. People um, get so invested into their boats, into their lives. So, so that, that means, the, if the boats sink right there on the spot, then guess what? I would, I would get on the helicopter yeah. I have on the helipad on my boat. So that means Lieutenant Dan could roll Fly off away. the boat, and, really? and Forrest Gump here has to sink with the boat. <laughs> so Lieutenant Dan gets to live, and Forrest Gump comes in there and swims. They expect, people expect the uh, owner of the thing to take responsibility. Yeah, yeah I got to ask, uh, I got to ask a question that, that to, to that rule. Let's say you're your your boat your, your your boat captain, right? Back in the day, whenever this rule was, and, and the boat the sinks, but you live. Let's say you swim the shore. Are you still guilty of treason? Or no, you're not guilty of treason. You just you just live through a traumatic scene. And you get and you get to try and to get another boat. Oh my God! But then I always think of you as yeah. like, oh, that's the guy who did who swept the boat. An enterprise. Be that guy. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll take but let's way. let's say the deckhand like forgets to hook up something. And then the boat just the, the effects drifts the off. Thing, and guess what? And it hits a rock. Yeah, you shouldn't have let that yeah. deck in. Do yeah, that yeah. Job. he's fired. Yeah, yeah. But it just show you that like dramatic scenes. Everybody been hearing about the Orlando, Florida thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Alligator ate that kid. Well, 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 oh, well, oh, we're talking about the the, the, the shooting. No, that that that, that, that no, was, kid well, got hit by know, alligator. Know, but we're talking about we're talking about the shooting. Did you did you hear when anonymous actually like hacked? All of like ISIS's Twitter accounts and like flooded them with gay porn. <laughs> so, oh, wow. like, which they loved. Which, which subsequently ISIS went dark for two hours because they were all jerking it. Oh wow! You heard the guy in Orlando that did it was super gay. He, he really? was a he was a regular at that club. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's, it's weird that uh people are going crazy over that. It, it, it shows that when terrible things happen, everyone gets united. Everyone's yeah. get together for like yeah, but there, one. That's the reason they do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, it's all about religion. But it, it shows you that, even, you know, you heard, you heard uh, Chick Fil A opened up their uh, store on <laughs> Sunday. Wow. Because they felt sorry. It, it was like doing a uh, good it, for them. It was giving people food. You know what? People who did. Hey, I mean, that's so. Hold on, hold on. They was they was giving they was giving out free food to people who donate blood for wow. the Orlando thing. Now the, the, the question is, with this is. Why are they donating blood for people who just got murdered? Dude, 49 people. Why did everybody die? Why people are people in How about when they were in unit? A bullet does that much damage? When you Bruh, a you, it depends on where it hits. Plus, but you usually need about a couple pints per bullet, I'd oh, say. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's a true fact that everyone might not know. Okay. You know, they waste more blood doing these foundations than they uh, do. do uh, I, you, you saw that everyone does everything yes! did didn't you? What's the deal, though? I don't know the, the uh, stat. Well, apparently people waste more, they waste more blood doing these uh surgeries no these um fund fun, fundraiser things yeah because blood, blood, blood has a shelf life just yeah like blood has a, a shelf life and they waste more blood every year doing these fun, fundraisers and they don't get enough blood I, after I, the fundraiser i'm gonna have to doubt the hell out of that and well, get back look, to well you. look it up and yeah. let me know because apparently they say uh, they, they show you on there that blood has do has an expiration date so you're saying like if they got blood in the freezer and i think it's like a pre-sun i take it out 
Ooh. It's like a little pack, and I start What's drinking it. it. I kind of would like to drink blood. Sometimes. No, no. I'd be like, so you know, drink blood. You but it, it shows you that <laughs> it shows you that people only only time people are united when terrible things happen. So if that's the case. We'll start up some new terrible things so people can stay united. No, yeah, no. Uh, you know, there's a species. child in Africa who lost 10 coins in his pocket. We should get together and f start a fundraiser for that. Oh, and matter of fact, there's um, yeah. cats without yeah, wheelchairs. Yeah. Shut up. Remember the African was convicted of rape. Apparently, there are starving kids in Alabama. So, the so kids. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have to send all our fried chicken. And oh, all yeah. Sara Lee cinnamon rolls. Okay, here's the problem with that. Why are we giving away all our stuff to other people when we don't have enough stuff to, to feed ourselves? Oh. I mean, I mean, yeah. Because we don't care about uh, ourselves. I we mean, talk, if, if we it depends on if you have abundance. Here, here's, I if see I America. Had abundance of pizzas. I could give everybody a pizza, but I only I mean, got like two. So. But here, I see. Hey, Kenneth, you didn't marry me. We were all on the. The food net thing. You know yeah. when people give away food, they give away the shit they don't want. Even food net is uh, yeah. it's, it's a load of crap. Yeah, yeah. You know, dude. Like, did you, you know, know? You know what they need most at a lot of these shelters? Like socks, toothpaste. Actually, they do have that. that uh, kind of bleach. Places. But you know, here's the thing: is you know, people only donate food that on that all, is inspired on food that they won't eat at all. You know, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, it has more than we would, uh, donating food. We went to food net. I mean, look what they got. Look what they gave us when we went to food net. Oh, it's fire bread. Give us milk that was like a day before it expired. Dude, oh. the bread was so hard one time that they hit me with it, and I thought I had a concussion. Uh, <laughs> Make some bread, Chuck. You can tie them together. But like, it shows. <laughs> you know, you know, you know it has more than uh, donating food, money. You know, you know he's right more. about that though, right? Because like the bread that, that, that they give us, oh, we're you can you can use it as an improvised weapon. We're talking about, you really Or uh, at this caller, uh, we probably have to, uh, to be sure that the other one was called in. All right, no problem. All right. Right. But you know, uh, but money helps more than uh, I'm gonna donating make, food. I'm gonna I mean, make, of some course. some uh, um, food at places has vendors that they go to, vendors they go to that's, uh, that that has farms. And they get more money from yes, food, yes. Fresh, especially fresh food, from um, these farms and stuff. Yeah, Nigeria recently did a, uh, they, they just basically gave people who had a business plan, and a lot of them already had businesses, but, you know, they needed a loan. Yeah. Well, they gave them about 50, equivalent about 50 grand a piece. They did this, they spent, you know, like half a billion dollars and gave this to a few thousand people, and you know, $50,000 loan. And 97 percent of them, you know, spent that money really well. Hello, caller. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. You from off the wall, dude? I am. What's Damn, up? So there's actually a show worse than off the wall. <laughs> 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 I thank you, I think so. Oh, well, thank you. Then. So, yeah, you're not the worst show on AOC anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We, we'll, we'll, we'll prove that we fact to, on I'm, Sunday. I'm don't let us challenge that. I'm still so, still watching, so it can't be that bad. Oh, well, <laughs> well, thank you, Carla. I'm <laughs> joke, man. I'm just joking. I know. Yeah, we, we love it. No, we love it. We love it. We're, we're the Cleveland Browns of AOC. <laughs> 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 Always laugh. Wow, that is me. But it shows you that... That that that, that uh, food at places is is, is really uh, have a bad. I mean, you get more stuff just getting or donating money. I mean, it, it's well, bad these okay, days. that's super true. I think uh, I would be curious to see statistics bear it out. But I do know of the thing that they, it was a study they did in Nigeria yeah. with real money, and uh, most of these businesses flourish. You go back and see them six months later. They spent the money well. They bought things they yeah. needed. They hired employees. Yeah. And uh, th then the thing you're talking about with farming. That's another truth. Uh, you give a, a family chickens or a cow that they can milk or a goat yeah. that they can milk and, and and get the wool from. That's how you uplift people. Uh, yeah. But money works too, and they've done these studies because a lot of philanthropic circles thought that wouldn't be the case. You give yeah. them money, they're going to spend it poorly. But overwhelmingly, they've done. They've only done a few of these studies, but yeah. in the studies, you know, they have a. It's a pretty good. Uh, uh, well, also, section of people. Like, like if you were to spot me ten bucks right now, you you know what I'd do? Well, you'd blow it. Well, so I would go. I would go walk to to, to Stevens and oh. give me some chicken tenders. Oh, then wow. that's a good choice. Okay. But it shows you that this. You, you that spent that people, money wisely. But it shows that people if people really want to fix the community, do uh, make the world a little better. 
No one cares. I mean, you see that you see that rich person on TV who's talking about uh, people start kids starving in Africa. You talk, you see this rich celebrity talking about kids need to be adopted. You talk, you see you, more and more you see that you know that you're looking at you found. I'm thinking to myself that if they are oh, worried about this so much, then why don't they do anything? They, well, they they're trying they're trying to strain poor me uh, poor people from their money. It, it's just, but go ahead. It depends on the cause, and yes, some causes have so much overhead as to be. Of course. You know, they, they yeah. should maybe be more investigations on that kind of thing. But there are some causes that are just like uh, Louis C.K.'s cause, the Fistula Foundation. That's yeah. where a woman in childbirth like damages her her genitals and has to you know needs surgery and need, needs care and needs medicine. But that's and, yeah, that's, that's early childbirth. No, I mean you, you know when a, child, a baby, you know how, how a baby is born and you have the baby inside the, the mama, but while the baby's inside the per person, what do, what do you think they're doing in there? They are kicking every organ in that body. So well, what assuming, do you mean? <laughs> well, uh, well uh, actually, a baby does kick around in there. They do kick every organ in your body. So, all I'm gonna say what about what are you saying? Like it's like so it doesn't mean nothing. I mean, come all, on. all I'm but gonna say is after and sometimes you're not. You sometimes you're not. But most times you're It's just childbirth. Yeah. I mean, yeah. go on. All all I'm gonna say why, is I'm glad I'm a dude. Why do I need a fundraiser for that kind of stuff? Um, this isn't for childbirth in the U.S. Even though we have a fairly high infant mortality rate well. for a first world country or whatever you want to call it, industrialized country. Well. Uh, it's like thirty in a thousand or something. Yeah. That's a lot. Uh, but but no, it's uh, we're talking about Africa. We're talking about places where their childbirth isn't necessarily happening in a hospital. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing necessarily. I'm using the word necessarily too many times. Yeah. But the the whole idea is that some of these women have you know go go through childbirth and become wounded in some way. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those organizations that most of the money is going straight to help. There's very little overhead. Yeah. And what I'm saying is you know Louis CK gets out there and talks about this thing. He doesn't have enough money to solve the problem. You know, there's, it's more. It's bigger than the amount of money he yeah, it's has. Big, it's bigger than but he can lend not. his star power okay. to it, and then a lot of money can get donated. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you this. Okay. See this honey bun right here? It's a cinnamon roll, but okay. Cinnamon roll. See, I see the cinnamon roll. <laughs> Hold on. Try blue point. This is play this, right here. You man. see this? You see the cinnamon roll right here? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, this let's say just call this the United States right here. Okay. And everything else the around United it. Of Sarah Lee. I can't shut up. All right, everything else around it is everything beyond that. Okay. So, here's what I say uh, to the person who is starting something in Africa, that we uh, that I'm in, in the United States try, trying to help, trying to find a way to help them instead of going to Africa. You know what? I'm Let looking. Africa work his shit out on their own. We don't need no celebrities over there to make us feel bad. What's going on over there? We, I could just walk outside my house and see a homeless man. Uh, eat out a trash can, or that's true. A, a pregnant woman taking cocaine and meth, even though she's pregnant, she can't afford her meth and cocaine. Uh, yes, she had to, she had to, to get it down. But still, like I said, I don't care about anything. That, that, that's what these celebrities do. They they they, they make sure you what's, what's going on in Africa. They make making sure what's going on in these third world nations. Who cares? By the time we finish our this. We'll be just like them too. I mean, you, you do have a point to an extent. No one look, cares look, if a black kid is starving in Africa. Guess what? There's, a, there's another black kid starving across the street. Voltaire has a line. He says that we are all guilty of all the good that we fail to do. So yes, there's a lot of good that is being failed. However the heck I would phrase that sentence. There's a lot of good not being done in the U.S. that should and could should be, be done. done. But there's also a lot of good that the U.S. can do abroad, and to say that picking some, some uh, cause that isn't necessarily impacting people in the U.S. Yeah. being a, a, a waste because you could help someone in the U.S. is just specious. Because there are people, there are people all over the world that need help. Yes. Everyone needs help. Go ahead. I don't know. I, 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 everyone needs help. Said, it's just I, like I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing is, I've, I've always said that true altruism. It, you you do things because you feel is morally obligated to do so, not because you want to do it. I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to live in this apartment complex, right? And I was saving up like three hundred dollars to get a TV. Yeah. I, I really wanted this TV, right? And I was with my roommate. Uh huh. And I, it was pouring down, raining, and I hear this cat downstairs, right? And I'm just trying to go to sleep. I'm like, oh man. 
And Jeremy goes down the stairs. He picks. He, he, he's like, oh, you know, it's this cat. And this cat is like a homeless cat. And it was like two hundred and fifty dollars for a pet deposit. I'm like, oh, really? And you want to get my TV? I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. But I knew, I knew that if the cat would have stayed outside, it probably would have died. And so I felt like it was my moral obligation to go pay for the pet deposit. And then we fed the cat, and the cat was cool, and it was a pet cat. We named Akira. Oh, well, that's good. That's but, good. But, but, but there's something I wanted to do. I had to sacrifice something that I wanted to do, something that I felt that I had to do. Yeah. Because the cat would have died. Of course. But you, you, did, you did a good thing, to, and, you, and you feel good about it, and you got, someone got but helped out. But this is not something I wanted to do. It's, it's something, something you I to do, felt that I had, had to do. But you yeah, did. I felt I had to. And you then did. you got the TV next time. No, actually, now I got a way better TV. I got a seven, what, sixty inch. So it shows you that uh, <laughs> good karma comes back to you. But we're helping everyone around the world, but doing nothing for us. It's like it's like a, a man having like, a, oh, hold on, hold yeah. on. It's like having a man having a dirty house, but going to clean everyone else's houses up. No, because probably because they ain't got the time to clean his own house because he's mm. so busy cleaning. Then maybe he should yeah, have actually cleaned up the houses. There is something to that. I think it's it's like the uh, line from the Bible, you know. Uh, don't talk about the moat in your neighbor's eye before you remove the yeah. splinter from your own eye. Yeah. Oh, I think it's easier to see other people's problems. Yeah. So I, y'all. I, I think I think it's true with our friends too. Mm. We can see our friends screwing up in a way that we so, don't have the discernment to notice when we're screwing yeah. up. You have to you have to be self reflective enough and humble enough to look at yourself in the mirror every now and then and be like, I'm wrong. Mm. You have to you have to admit sometimes like, oh, I just sometimes. messed up. I did something messed up. But sometimes you have to prove it. Sometimes you have to prove it to know that person's wrong. Just saying things don't make it seem like you're right. It can be fun to prove it. You have to prove it to know that. But let's say you, well, I don't know, because then you're rubbing it in their face. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what he's doing. No, 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 no. That's exactly what he's doing. If I don't see the proof, then guess what? It's not real. But you have to disprove it. So, but like I said, Kenneth 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 has this philosophy. Aristotle's back. Yeah, Kenneth 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 has this whole thing where (laughs) he says, "I'm like, dude, you're wrong about this." He's like, "Well, can you prove it?" I'm like, "Well." Then, it's yeah, y'all gotta then, buy then, then he's instantly right. No, then he believes I'm, he's instantly right. I am prove it instantly wrong. right. If a person cannot prove a person's thing, so wrong, if you hit me, if you hit me in the back of the head with a baseball bat and I get knocked unconscious and nobody sees it, right? And I knew it was you. You have to prove it. <laughs> and but I knew it was you the whole time. You have to prove it. What I have to prove it. What if you're on though, a desert island? There's only two people around. We, we, no one's allowed. Blame the natives, like on Gilligan's Island. He did it. But it's like our court system too. What is our court? A group of people that get together to distru- decide who, who uh, if you go to jail or not, even though they've never been there at all, by going off the word of someone who's been there. Oh, I just want you to believe that that person did that, and the court system like this. Oh. I mean, I witnessed. I believe about he's right. They have to. So they have to have evidence, though, man. It's, there's, even a lot, ev- there's a lot more that goes. Well, sometimes I mean, evidence I mean, can you be. You think so, but that's not think necessarily so. but true. That's how that's how it works in these days in the government world. These days, you, you got the smallest evidence, like saying this doorknob had his handprint on it. You've had people. So that's him. him. Without say a body, I grab, and then the say person I, turns say, up alive later. Yeah. yeah. Let's say I grab your, you know, your cinnamon roll and uh-huh. I put it down, and someone eats it, and you think it was, you think it was me. Well, your fingerprints will be on it. And my fingerprints are on it. But and, these and days... I'm subject number one, but that doesn't mean I answer cinnamon roll. Of course, of course. But these days, <laughs> uh, true facts, fingerprints are not like snowflakes. It, 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 everyone has almost the same fingerprints. So it shows that no matter what... But if there's two of y'all, and it yeah. looks a lot like Barry's fingerprint... But let's say Brian sweeps in while yeah, nobody was looking. Right. They don't have high technology to know what fingerprints look like. I got a magnifying glass. All you're doing is eyeballing it. <laughs> I mean, you can that's be, all you're doing. I mean, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, but I think I could eyeball a, a, right. a thumbprint. We'll do this next time. We'll put my thumbprint. Yeah, we'll and see. And we'll if, put right. Barry's thumbprint. And on, you tell me Barry's who's phone. who. Because uh, I don't want to do it on my phone. Oh, uh, no. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll think that ink thing will like, do that. Yeah. And we'll see who's who. But it shows you that. Do this. It shows you that. That right there. That's oh, wow. Gross. But it shows you that. That. Uh, when, when, you remember how Scott robbed last time? Yeah. I it, don't know. I still at, don't know who the cop, did it. The cop was doing this. Like, dusting for fingerprints. And look, look, look at him like this. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. Wow, why, man, that's awesome. They why is he dusted for fingerprints. Yeah, but it's useless. Not necessarily, Kenneth. It's useless. No, no that's not, All right, go that's ahead. not why? necessarily I still true. haven't heard from the cops yet. Because I think, I think there my is a database. Gone. And you can. You, t- you totally can search that stuff. 
I mean, when I when I had to take my paternity test, you know, for oh, my dad, yeah. they they had to take my, my fingerprint. I want they had to take his fingerprint. They had to take my mom's fingerprint. I mean, they had to go through each fingerprint, separate uh, other fingerprints of people who have your same fingerprints. You they would think, to buy that dude, separate. you can Google image search the, the picture of a chicken you drew. Of course. See if anybody else posted it. Of course. You, you can know. do that. You can't I search can. fingerprints. <laughs> anyway, I don't think so. I now uh, I'm super you know, curious. You know, people people have too much high faith in uh, the care. system. That we have too much faith in technology. Too. Of course, but look at this way. People like um, it, it's amazing how 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 we could just turn uh, good the, guys yeah. into bad guys. That was the moral of episode guys four. Into good guys. That was the whole moral of the story episode four in Star Wars when 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 Obi Wan Kenobi was like Luke, use the Force, Luke. What what what? Uh, but here's what like, Lucas is trying to say is don't always put your faith in technology. They were using those little scanner things. Yeah. To blow up the Death Star. And but like, he, here's my example. Uh, and they were like, oh my God! You took a scanner okay, off. What okay, are you okay. doing? Ready? I'm gonna replay the whole know? movie. We, if people, if we're <laughs> probably see the movie. You don't need to do the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, no. here's my uh, my, my uh, thing on how Use people turn course, how people turn good guys into bad guys and bad guys into good guys. Remember, uh, oh, bless you. There was a, was, there was a time back then where uh, a guy broke into this lady's house. While he broke into her house, he fell on the kitchen knife. Yeah, I heard the story. He sued the girl. Was this in the U.S.? Because yeah. I've heard of it in Canada a couple times. In I, the think, UK. I, I, I don't know. But it might be in the U.S. I mean, because you know. can shoot somebody. Now, I know, now I, I know, I, I know a case of a dog. They had a guy that had a Rottweiler, right? Uh huh. And he, the Rottweiler was in his yard and had a no trespasser sign, and a Doberman jumped the fence, and the Rottweiler and the Doberman got in a fight. And the Rottweiler caused like three hundred dollars worth of damage on the Doberman. When the cops showed up, they shot the Rottweiler because they said he was a dangerous dog. What? Yeah, wow. and then they turned around. The guy who owned the Doberman turned around and sued the guy who owned the Rottweiler. It, it's, it's 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 weird that how we're focused on money so much that now these days people could just sue and sue anybody. I mean, money's important. Even though but it's not wrong. the only thing in the world. I mean, it's, it, there, there are things more. I've always said this: the most it's important the things. That's the, it's the power it's, it's the of it's, 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 I've always said this: the the, uh, the most important things in life are the things you can't see and touch. You can't see loyalty. You can't see. You can't see love. You can't see. Oh, but goodbye. But 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 money. I'm not gonna downplay the importance of money. Money is very important, but it's not the only thing in the world. Of course. But know? guess what? You but can't... it is. It's the facilitator. All people it's, say it's a certain magic with yeah. money. But it was weird. All people say. Oh, I know how magic we could get. Like like when I when I was sitting there looking at the TV. His and eyes I had the up. money to buy. No, I was I was fixated. I was just sitting there like. But here's the thing: is should I buy it? Should people, I not buy it? Uh, I, was, I was just like, if it, just buy it. <laughs> this is the thing is, people think money don't buy, can't buy happiness. People can't say money can't buy, can't buy loyalty. But you can buy all that stuff. Uh, happiness, happiness has this, something to do with you, dude. Like you, only uh, you can make yourself happy. Of course, of course. But, but, but money right. helps. So Barry, if you wish but to, money is a good down right. payment. Well, I on. say money can't buy happiness, but it's a good down payment. Oh, but well, the trouble is, happy. what are you giving away for the money? Yeah, nothing. That's the thing. Oh, if, let's say this, Barry. Well, how do you feel when you're with your family? Very happy, huh? Yeah, I'm happy to see Now, him. what would happen if, if someone dropped $10 million in your lap? How, would you still be happy? I'd be ecstatic. See? Nothing changes at all. But, but so at money the same can't time, I understand what it is. Of course. But still, money can it's buy happiness. It's an inanimate object. I of mean, course. It's still, but, yes. but it's still, but, but if you ask me to pick between $10 million and my family, I'm going to pick my family. Of course. But money can't buy happiness. But yeah, I'd be ecstatic. Yeah, all right, let's yeah. this way. Let's just say, Barry. If I, it if, depends on the person. What makes you happy? All right, here, let's, let's do another one then. All right, Barry, what if I told you if you if you love your family so much, would you protect them? Yeah. If I had, if I, I gave do everything you, in my power. If your mama gave you ten million dollars to protect them, would you? The best I can. See, I would protect nothing them. changes at all then. But my mom, my mom doesn't have ten million dollars to give me to protect. It's a, it's a what if thing, Barry. Number it's one, a, she can protect herself. It's a what if thing, She's Barry. Perfectly capable. Of protecting Barry, it's a what herself. if thing, Barry. You don't don't go logic with it. I mean, but just say this: that the, the, money can't see, buy everything. I see money as a neutral object. A lot of people say it's evil and this and that. I see it's it's. The uh, same way I see power is how you use that power. It's how you use it determines whether you're evil or good or not. Mm. You, know, you know why? Because bad. you could you could take that money and, and you use it to you know buy your home and buy you a car, and that's cool. Of course. Or you could use that money to help out someone in need, or you could use that money to buy cocaine and heroin, oh. and, and and you could use that money to you know to commit crimes and stuff. Then right. then, but the money itself's not evil. You're the one who was evil of the whole time. Now name something. Uh, I, we'll, we'll play this little shark game, okay? Mm -hmm. You name something good, 
that come from money. And I'll counter it the by Kennedys. saying the Kennedys. Oh wow! Uh, you didn't say the good that come from money, and I'll counter it see, by saying hold a on, car? hold on, and I counter it by me what earning money from that. Let's begin. Go a ahead. Car. Well, guess what? With a car, I could still earn money from that by doing uh, uh, take Thank people you. places. Thank so anyway, you put this. Okay, true. Uh, a home. A home. I still have to charge you for rent or gas uh, bill or electric bill. Yeah, you could use money to make money. I get it. Well, if you had enough money, you could buy a home. Well, I don't know if you could pay. So the, basically, you could probably form a trust to pay the property tax in perpetuity. Yeah. And then you could put solar panels. Of course. Maybe if you're in a region where you the oh, so it, it shows you that money is not even good either. I mean, if I had like, like if I went, or if I wanted Mega Millions, I'm having a smart. Dude, I'm gonna have a yeah. home to where if I'm sitting in the room and I want to listen to Slayer's Raining Blood and you want to listen to Britney Spears, I want I can't hear Slayer. You can't hear Slayer. I can't. Yeah. I want a home with a danger room in it, like from X Men, and it, uh, and it's like a like a holodeck, but you can fight stuff and yeah. Dude, like I, ride. I, I, I think if everybody had money like that, that, that enough money like that. They'll, 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 they'll have an awesome house. I, mean, I would have a car awesome elevator. Like the way I would do it is like my car, my car garage is at the bottom floor, right? The, the middle floor is like the guest bedroom slash game rooms. And the top floor is my bedroom, like my bedroom slash master whatever. But anyway, I, I, I parked the car, I I know, parked the car in the middle of the thing, right? And, and it goes, and shoot my car, shoot my Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatever up. Into the top floor, and I'll have my car sitting. Why? Why? Why no, not? At all. If I got three hundred million dollars, why not? Uh, because you could have spent the car elevator money to buy a poor person a house. Uh, you know what? If I had um, uh, tons of money like that, I'm just want a regular house with a car and the the rest. But I want I want a regular but, house, but then a massive subterranean lair oh, wow. that no one Why? Because you could take that so money, to, money to, to no. buy another person. But then I'll house. murder all the contractors so they don't tell. <laughs> no, with me, I'm going to build up an apartment complex where I will put homeless people no, in. No, actually... Hold on, hold on. I'm not there. I'll build up an apartment complex where I'll put homeless people in. I will have to give them free... Cool. I'll give them free rent and food for at least a month. And each person, I will go by room to room and find them a job each one by one. In Belgium, they give... The homeless people beer in exchange for, and they have like places to stay. Yeah. Uh, in exchange for sweeping the streets and stuff. Oh, you know, it, it's not that the church do some of this stuff. They are taking people who are homeless, feed them to, but there's a certain amount that they can do, or that they want to do to show that they are doing it. I would you make. Know, I don't like people that show that show false sympathy. Like I would. I would. I would make a subdivision. That's what I would do if I had that kind of money. I'd make a subdivision. And give like homes to people, like home, not not apartments, but like like you would have a home, you would have a home. Yeah, but don't just I'd rather build up. Don't just give them yeah. the home, because after after a certain amount of time, they can't stay in that home. No, I'm talking about friends and family. I'll be the landlord. Of course, be friends and family. We're not talking about friends and family. We're talking about people who can't afford to still get a home or doing like that. Huh. Homeless people are still on the street. Help huh. them out too. Yeah, that's what I, you do. You got to find a way to get them I would, income. Yeah, I would buy. I would buy them a a, a cheeseburger at Burger King, and at the bottom no, of the cheeseburger, they would have like five hundred dollars. Yeah, but uh, they know, would eat it. But it, 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 <laughs> what did you do with this? Um, Charlie a, and the Chocolate Factory. No, there was a movie where they had where this guy he rented, he bought out these all all these what's those those things where the trucks drive? Containers. Containers. He he had all those big containers. And he took it to a certain area, and he had them stacked, like, on top of each other where they won't fall. Dude, you can insulate those. But he embraced those them. But and he took them. He fixed it up. He chopped plumbing, it up. Yeah. He took plumbing and all that stuff in there. He uh, actually cut out windows into these things. They do this, dude. And this guy, this guy had them all painted. And what he did was he moved all the homeless people into that uh, wow. into this thing, container, so they won't live on the streets. Oh, I, I just, it That's just hit awesome. me. And he, he divided it where... That it, was a movie? Yeah. Because well, they, I mean, they do build with this. Speaking, okay. speaking of movies. Took, wait, hold on. He took the container and he put three homes built in one. One big container. Wow. You're talking about like so, those big freight containers? Yeah, those big long ones. Yeah. Where you, where you go in, but they, they, he, took, he took, you see them on the ships and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, he takes one big one, he divided it into three, and he put plumbing and all the stuff into this, like, like a, a little small studio apartment. 
like a makeshift, mm-hmm. like a makeshift apartment. Yeah, camp. and he he uh, he put a door and everything on that, and he just walk in and he yeah. lived there. That's cool. And he, he he did all this, and he let them live there for free. I would like to build yeah. a giant container park. But hey, the guy the guy was like the guy says like saying I had all this money, you ever, I, uh, I had billions of dollars. See, that's cool, man. And he said, yeah. "What's the point of keeping this money?" If hmm. I'm gonna die and it goes to it goes, yeah. it goes to my ungrateful kids. Hey, you ever seen? Okay, Kenneth Hayes' movie, but I love it. You ever watch Hobo with a Shotgun? Mm-hmm. Hate that movie. Oh my god, it's a Canadian, like an independent Canadian movie. It's about a hobo going into like. But what, 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 what has to do with this? Yeah, but no, it's just he said movies and something about a movie and hobos. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm just gonna mention Hobo with a Shotgun. You need to look it up, dude. It's a great okay. movie. Should okay. I? Uh, no. Yes, Can you I? should. No. All, right. All this is about a homeless guy. Who see bad things happening? You know the he world. goes into a bad neighborhood, yeah. like in, in like 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 the whole he wants to buy a lawnmower. Corrupted. He's trying to save up money to buy a right, lawnmower. Right. Right. It, it, it was just stupid because it's, it's, the it's, whole it's, thing it's, was corrupt. It's awesome. It's everybody like was, stupid. Oh, oh, awesome. Everything everybody was corrupted on there, and all he, all he wanted to do was start a lawnmower. Now here's the thing: is who would trust a homeless man <laughs> with a lawnmower? Going around lawn people. You never know, man. I mean, he no might be he might be he might be a professional lawnmower man. Nobody. Let's take let's take the most professional cook. Uh-huh. And let's take let's say he's wearing dirty clothes. He's wearing a dirty hat. He never took a bath for what, maybe months, maybe years. I don't years. care about the Would you him. still allow him in your house? I wouldn't I don't to know if I would trust yeah. him. <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm even aware of. I, I don't know if I would I wouldn't so let like anybody I, said, I don't know in my house. So like that I said I again, don't know if I could trust or not. Who will hire a homeless man? Who looks like he have been up to about in years? I would okay. The, the, the trouble yard. is he's got to he's got to mow the first yard and he's got to mow it good. And then if I'm like, oh well, you marry you, you mowed Sue's yard over there, oh, wow. so maybe you could mow my yard here's, here's and don't steal any of my prescription pills. Uh, here's the, here's the thing don't with steal people. my Jack Daniels. I got a whole thing of Jack Daniels. <laughs> here's the thing with people. Only reason why people hire people because they hear from someone else that they're good. Then they hear from yeah. There's a certain that amount good. of nepotism that goes. It's like, it's like clothes. People. Why do you wear these name brand clothes? Because all all, all is just the well, why, 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 why am I wearing the Punisher shirt? Because I like the Punisher. No, these name brand shorts. The, the Adidas because I like I like Adidas. I like. But the way what's Adidas difference? Is fit. But what's the, the difference they, between Adidas shorts? They don't fall. Yeah. Dude, dude, you know these shorts are like five years old and it's still holding up. Like okay. I bought Walmart shorts and they fall apart. Who wears? Who, who who's who's that rough with clothes? Dude, I am. I want to get a job as a shoe sadist because I torture shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they they, Nike ought to hire me. Oh, to, yeah. to, like Nike or someone like that ought to hire minutes, me. Yeah, three minutes left on the show. To, 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 to like wear uh, shoes. Okay. Into like uh. Yeah, three minutes on the show. We'll, we'll, and just like this is wear them till they fall apart. So about his because uh, car culture. manufacturers do that. Car, car manufacturers will hire somebody like Ford will hire somebody to drive the new Ford pickup truck and they say they, they tell them drive it till it breaks. That's a waste. No, they they they're testing it for malfunctions. I know. Is They'll it, tell them to drive it. If I got paid long. to do that, yeah. that'd be fun. Yeah. So it's like I would tear that a truck child. And and say, I've seen test driver until it yeah. breaks. Yeah. Like like yeah. they got test drivers for Lamborghini. You'd be driving a Lamborghini on a abandoned airstrip, going as fast as you can. They well, want that's you to good. test that's it. How I like. <laughs> they want you to test it as much as you can until it breaks. Because they, they they're testing it for defaults, malfunctions, and stuff like that. But yet they still get caught with these defaults. I mean, how many times is it? Hey, everything gets caught with defaults. I know, but there's a recall what's after the 17 people were killed. Because what's the point of, of testing had yeah. this? Shards of glass in them. What's the point of testing for this if they still get caught because with Because it would be that? way worse if they don't. Can it's you imagine still worse. if they don't? They're just like, oh, let's just ship them out on the streets. Yeah. It's still worse. And then, and, 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 like, look, look at the Ford Pinto, dude. The Ford Pinto would ha- has a defect in it where the gas tank would explode. Of course. And how many people die until they realize that we didn't take this you off the could, market? You couldn't pay me money to drive a lot, probably. Oh, I yeah. mean, it, it's like Blue Bell. They, they actually was poisoning people. But it was weird is nothing ever happens in the United States like that. It always happens. No, out. it happens in the United States. No, it doesn't. They got people that found beers and shit in their oh, hamburgers. Yeah. Of course. It yeah. Happens. But it never happened in Lafayette. I'm talking about. Uh, you mean like no one has ever died from, from one of those? Oh, died. that's I, I highly doubt. You I'm are sure something. Next happens. show, you let me know. You you bring up some. I don't statistics. feel like doing that. You know what? No, you know what? I'm right. Oh, and see, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? If you can't, I, I can't argue with that. If you can't prove me wrong, then guess what? I'm right. You can't prove to Kenneth. <laughs> you can't prove that somebody has died from a flu-related illness in Lafayette. Really? Therefore, it never happened. <laughs> 
If you can't prove it to Kenneth, it never happened. That's how my that's that's my philosophy. Uh, that's the show. That's how it is. That's it. It's over. No, I mean I don't know, but that's that's the whole well, point of the show. Is Kenneth but is right. thing is, by the end, Kenneth is right. His thing is, anything I say, no one can prove I'm wrong. From uh, from girls, it doesn't mean you're right. I can definitely prove that. Wrong. All right, all right. Let's mm-hmm. pick a topic right now. We have, we have uh, two minutes. Climate pick a topic. change. Climate change. When you walk outside Lafayette, it rains and it doesn't. That's, <laughs> that's climate change. <laughs> Like I said, what you need is underwear change. Oh. <laughs> that might be what you know, causing global warming. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't wear that at all. Boom. Boom. We're actually due for another ice age, from what I understand. But it's a we thing may that. have we may have uh, avoided it by yeah. causing. Well, I'm by, yes, no, no joke. So 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 wait, my my gas guzzle on the Hummer saved the world? Yes, yes, you can say that. <laughs> wow. Oh, actually, I wanted to get colder, so maybe I didn't save the world. Those those uh those what those Hummers? Hummer Hummer Hummers. How many times you see? How many times do you see somebody driving a Hummer these days? No one drives Hummers. Not anymore. Oh, just that was business. the most useless vehicle ever. No, not if you off road. We'll show pictures on our show. We live in Lafayette, huh? Paul just got a Humvee. One of those old, like, dude. Really? It's like H1? Like, what, the H1 yeah, or H2? That's pretty big. Oh. Wait. No one, no one don't drive a Humvee. Does he have the H2? Because it's like, he has the H1, H2? It's like the, it's the military. It's, you know. Oh, he's got an H1. It's got, uh, that's like six miles old. to the gallon. Uh, uh, I think it's probably like 11 is what he's thinking. Okay, well, we yeah. have one minute left the show. Cool. All right, well, we much. have one minute left on the show today. We'll say, we'll say, everybody say one thing before we go. One right. thing hey, before Pop. we go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one thing before I we go. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Um, Thank you, dude. How about that the trouble...